Hi everyone, today I'm here to talk to you about working directories. So, when you work with your computer, your files are stored in something called a hierarchical file system. Uh, and this is what a file system might look like in Windows. So there's a folder or a drive in this case, which contains a folder, which contains another folder, which contains another folders, a bunch of folders, which might contain a file. And if you use Mac OS, you can see something similar, though uh, you know the same i the same basic idea. Like so, when you are navigating your Windows Explorer or File Explorer, or your Finder in macOS, you will find that you are always at a certain directory, which is called the current working directory. Basically, is your current location or address in the hierarchical file system. For example, in this diagram, let's say that I'm currently at the downloads, inside the downloads folder. So where you are is important when you are trying to look for other files or other folders. So there are two ways to reference a file or folder. The first is to use a so-called absolute path. Uh, for example, the absolute path to this file, abc.txt, is users slash me slash downloads slash abc.txt. So you can see that the absolute path is quite long because you need to start all the way from the root directory all the way down to the, your parents' directory and then your own name. On the other hand, if you use the relative path, it's very short. It's just abc.txt since that uh, file is in the same directory as the current is in the current working directory. Now let's show an example where you are currently in the desktop directory, but you are trying to access a file in the downloads directory. In this case, the absolute path is exactly the same. It's That's why it's called an absolute path. On the other hand, the relative path is different. You need to go to the parent directory, which is me, then to downloads, and then to abc.txt. So this example shows you that the relative path can be a bit cumbersome if you are not in the same directory as the if you're trying to access a file which is not in the current working directory. So uh, this is the same thing happens in R. Read underscore CSV works if the file is in the current working directory. But if you're trying to read using the relative path for a file that is in is not in the current working directory, then it won't work. You basically get an error message the file is not found. So Let's say you want to find out what is the current working directory. The easiest way to do that is to use the get wd function. wd is short, of course, for working directory. So this output shows that the current working directory is slash user slash Zachary Lo. Now, when you open an R script using RStudio, it may or it may not change your current working directory. So if RStudio is already open, double-clicking on an R file will open it, but RStudio will not change the current working directory. On the other hand, if RStudio is not open, it's closed, when you double-click on an R file, RStudio will automatically change the working directory to the working directory containing the directory containing that R file. And 
Because of this, the easiest way to change the working directory is just to close RStudio and double click on an R file and open it using RStudio. RStudio will then set the working directory to the folder containing that R file. And this is an, an example. I created a folder called test with a file called test.r. When I double when I close R Studio and double click that R file, R Studio opens and the working directory is in is indeed set to that test folder containing the R file. And if you didn't close R Studio, this doesn't work. Uh, basically, R Studio will the working directory of R will be the default, which in this case for me is user slash Zachary Lam, and not the test folder that contains the test.r script. Alright, so that's all for today. You should have learned from this video how to change the working directory. And remember, the easiest way to change the working directory is to close R Studio, open an R file using RStudio and RStudio will automatically set the working directory to the folder containing the R file. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye.